Well, good evening, everybody. Good to be here again. Good to have an open Bible. Good to have interest in coming out and sharing God's Word. And I'm looking forward to uh, uh, doing the nursing home uh, in the morning. I do it on uh, Monday morning about 1030. So this will probably be made uh, and installed probably Tuesday or Wednesday maybe. I'm reading a verse in the book of John chapter number 7. A very easy scripture but yet it's very difficult. Uh, it's an easy scripture to read, but it's very difficult. Uh, it shouldn't be, but in John chapter 7, in verse number 37, we're just going to take verse 37 and 38. Jesus said this, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, now listen, when the Bible says he stood and he cried, I believe that he spoke with a loud voice. He's speaking where people can be able to hear him communicate. What Jesus is saying is no confusion in what Jesus is saying here. He's hoping the people will hear what he's saying and put it to practice on what he's saying. Here's his words. If any man thirst, let him come to me and drink. If any man thirst. Now, was Jesus talking about being thirsty? You know, whenever I get to the nursing home, they have a, a fountain that you can go and get a little bit of ice. And you can take your cup that you got there and you can fill it with crushed ice. And they have a selector that you can select most any kind of drink that you want. The one that I've been selecting has been something that has a little bit of taste to peach in it. And it's very satisfying to the flesh. Now what Jesus is saying here, if any man thirst. Let him come unto me and drink. Now let me try to explain what I believe Jesus is saying here. He's not referring to a natural drink. He's referring to a thirst that only Jesus can quench. There's a lot of people that go <clears throat> in a lot of locations and they get sustenance that doesn't satisfy. When I started reading this verse tonight, I would even thought about the fact that how many people drink from the wrong fountain. They drink from the wrong fountain. They're taking in water from the wrong fountain. Jesus said here, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Meaning that, here's what that means. It ultimately means is that Jesus is the only supplier of the drink that we need. But yet, because we have a desire to drink from over here 
and we drank from over here, and we drank from over there, and we drank from this worldly thing, and we drank from that worldly thing before you know it, we're drinking from every other source but Jesus. And Jesus is saying here, look, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Meaning, there is nowhere else to get your thirst quenched other than in me. Now, I believe there's a lot of people that are drinking from this fountain and it ain't turning out. They drink over here in this location and the water is bitter. They drink over here from this location over here, and it's got a flavor that ain't real good. And the more we drink from these other outlets, the more we find that the other outlets are not satisfying. He said here, if a man thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Meaning he is the only thirst quencher. But many times we will thirst at the wrong tap. I've got cows out here on my place. They're not mine. But I have a watering trough that is literally right behind my building right here. And them cows know where they are to get water. But right now, the stream is filled with water. The creeks that run through the place is full of water. They don't generally have to come to the drinking pool behind my house. Because they have water that they can drink of in the creeks and in the ditches because all of them ditches has got good clean water from the rain. There's only one water that is satisfying and that water is from the Lord. See, if any man thirst, if any man thirst, Talking about the thirst that only Jesus can give. How many times do I thirst for the carnal things? I'm going to admit something. I was, I guess it was yesterday. I spent all day looking at stuff that was a complete lie. It was just a total complete lie. And the more I watched it, the more I just thought, this is a complete downright lie. Now, was it satisfying a little bit to the flesh? Yeah, in a way it was, but it was a downright ball face lie. Because I did research on it. And come to realize that it was nothing but a ball face lie. I had wasted a good part of yesterday looking at a ball face lie. Now, I could kick myself for looking at that stuff that I, that I proved was a bald-faced lie. Or I could have still been there enjoying what I was seeing that was a bald-faced lie. But here's the thing. That bald-faced lie turned into something that was not thirst for God. It was thirst for the cares and the affairs of this life. And the cares and the affairs of this life will cause you to thirst in the wrong areas. I don't believe them cows would be drinking out of the creek if they knew that that water wasn't any good. They would still come behind my house back here and drink from the fountain that was back behind me if they would have known that the creek water wasn't any good. And see, what I'm saying is, 
Man has a right to thirst where he wants to thirst at. I can thirst for the cares and the affairs of this life. But the cares and the affairs of this life is never going to be satisfied because it's going to leave me with a thirst that proves out to be a bald-faced lie. So now, today, I don't have to spend my time looking at things that is a bald-faced lie. I feel like, in a way, in a sense, I got victory over what I found to be a a bald-faced lie. And I'll leave it at that. The scripture says, if any man thirst, Jesus is the author of a person that is willing to thirst for the right thing. If I'm thirsting for the worldly things, if I'm thirsting for the carnal things, all of that's going to let me down. It did yesterday, and it will today, if I allow myself to look at the garbage that was a bald-faced lie. I'd rather stay away from it. I'd rather much stay away from it, because I already done know that there is nothing but deceit. And what I was seeing. But it says here, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me. Jesus is the only thirst quencher. When I get to the nursing home, I'm going to get that little bit of crushed ice. I'm going to get me a little bit of that peach drink. And I'm going to enjoy that peach tasting flavor. But that peach-tasting flavor ain't going to beat water. The tap where there's water at, you won't beat the water. Water is so much more satisfying. Let him come into me and drink. But now that's verse number 37, but listen at verse number 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, meaning if I take the time to believe on the Lord, as the scripture has told me to believe, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That is all true as long as I'm not settling for the bald-faced lie. If I settle for the bald-faced lie, then I'm not going to get the rivers that flow of living water. I'm going to get corruption. I'm going to get garbage. I'm going to get something that's going to make me think that, wait a minute, that's a bald-faced lie. It says right here, He that believeth on me, meaning he is the one that has the rivers of living water. He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. The scripture don't lie. The scripture don't tell me a bald-faced lie. It says, out of his belly. Out of the person's belly, meaning the truth of the refreshing of the word of God comes out of my belly. And it flows rivers of living water. We're talking about truthful water. We're not talking about lies. We're talking about truth. I can settle for the bald-faced lie. But if I do, I won't be. He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. I'm trying to make the scripture say something that it doesn't mean. If I'm not drinking out of the water of the living word. Out of 
his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Not if I'm going up to the table and getting garbage and me trying to drink from garbage. And I'm trying to drink from a lie. It won't work. It won't work. Too many people are settling for the lie. Rather than the scripture has said out of the mouth, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So here's the bottom line. You can drink water from the belly that flows rivers of living water or You can take in the water that is the bald faced lie. And I can tell you right now, the devil will love for you to continue drinking from the bald faced lie. But he says right here, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. All that lie that I found yesterday was a bald faced lie. It didn't help me at all. It allowed me to see what was a bald-faced lie. Now, today, I can learn from that. But what happens if I want to look at that bald-faced lie again? What happens if I don't want to drink from the river of living water like it said right here, as the scripture has saith? See, when the scripture takes time to tell me something... Is it true? Because it says here, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Not if I'm drinking from the filth and from the garbage. It's something to meditate on. Where, What river are you drinking from? Are you drinking from the lie? Are you drinking from the scripture of the belly of living water? Which one are you drinking from? You know, part of me drunk a little bit from that belly of a lie. But it was only to prove what I found out to be a bald-faced lie. And that's what God does. God will show you what is the real thing and what is the bald-faced lie. So if I want to go back to the bar and get the bald-faced lie, then what excuse am I going to use tomorrow when I look at the bald-faced lie rather than looking at the, the Word of God? If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. You don't have to worry about the Lord lying to you. You don't have to worry about him giving you a bald-faced lie. He's going to give you good water out of the scripture. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, meaning the belly of mine, shall flow rivers of living water great to know. Elderly Ministry is the YouTube channel. Elderlyministry.com is the website. You just need to decide which one you want to drink from. You want to drink from the bald-faced lie or you want to drink from the living Word of God. The devil don't mind you drinking from his side. It ain't going to satisfy you. If anything, it's going to make you weaker. It's going to make you sad. Because he's trying to tell you that it's all right drinking from the lie. And it ain't. There's no victory in drinking from the lie. Ask yourself where you've been drinking. From the belly of living water or from the belly of a lie? Something to think about. If I can help you, yell at me. Be glad to help. Thank y'all again for watching.